Concord is the capital city of the U.S. state of New Hampshire and the county seat of Merrimack County. As of the 2010 census, its population was 42,695. Concord includes the villages of Penacook, East Concord, and West Concord. The city is home to the University of New Hampshire School of Law, New Hampshire's only law school, St. Paul's School, a private preparatory school, NHTI, a two year community college, and the Granite State Symphony Orchestra. It is the resting place of Franklin Pierce, 14th President of the United States. History The area that would become Concord was originally settled thousands of years ago by Abenaki Native Americans called the Penacook. The tribe fished for migrating salmon, sturgeon, and alewives with nets strung across the rapids of the Merrimack River. The stream was also the transportation route for their birch bark canoes, which could travel from Lake Winnipesaukee to the Atlantic Ocean. The broad sweep of the Merrimack River Valley floodplain provided good soil for farming beans, gourds, pumpkins, melons and maize. On January 17, 1725, the province of Massachusetts Bay, which then claimed territories west of the Merrimack River, granted the Concord area as the plantation of Penacook. It was settled between 1725 and 1727 by Captain Ebenezer Eastman and others from Haverhill, Massachusetts. On February 9, 1734, the town was incorporated as Rumford, from which Sir Benjamin Thompson, Count Rumford would take his title. It was renamed Concord in 1765 by Governor Benning Wentworth following a bitter boundary dispute between Rumford and the town of Bow. The city name was meant to reflect the new Concord, or harmony, between the disputant towns. Citizens displaced by the resulting border adjustment were given land elsewhere as compensation. In 1779, New Penacook Plantation was granted to Timothy Walker Jr. and his associates at what would be incorporated in 1800 as Rumford, Maine, the site of Penacook Falls. Concord grew in prominence throughout the 18th century, and some of its earliest houses survive at the northern end of Main Street. In the years following the Revolution, Concord's central geographical location made it a logical choice for the state capital, particularly after Samuel Blodgett in 1807 opened a canal and lock system to allow vessels passage around the Amoskeg Falls downriver, connecting Concord with Boston by way of the Middlesex Canal. In 1808, Concord was named the official seat of state government. The 1819 State House is the oldest capital in the nation in which the state's legislative branches meet in their original chambers. The city would become noted for furniture making and granite quarrying. In 1828, Lewis Downing joined J. Stevens Abbott to form Abbott and Downing. Their most famous product was their Concord stagecoach, widely used in the development of the American West. In the 19th century, Concord became a hub for the railroad industry, with Penacook a textile manufacturing center using water power from the Kentucook River. Today, the city is a center for health care and several insurance companies. It is also home to Concord Litho, one of the largest independently owned commercial printing companies in the country. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Concord is located at 43 degrees 12 minutes 24 seconds north 71 degrees 32 minutes 17 seconds west 73.2070-71.5371 According to the United States Census Bureau the city has a total area of 67.5 square miles 174.8 square kilometers 64.2 square miles, 166.4 square kilometers of it is land and 3.2 square miles, 8.4 square kilometers of it is water, comprising 4.79% of the city. Concord is drained by the Merrimack River. Penacook Lake is in the west. The highest point in Concord is 860 feet, 260 meters above sea level on Oak Hill, just west of the hill's 970 foot, 300 meters summit in neighboring Loudon. Concord lies fully within the Merrimack River watershed, and is centered on the river, which runs from northwest to southeast through the city. Downtown is located on a low terrace to the west of the river, with residential neighborhoods climbing hills to the west and extending southwards towards the town of Bow. To the east of the Merrimack, atop a 100-foot bluff, is a flat, sandy plain known as Concord Heights, which has seen most of the city's commercial development since 1960. 
The eastern boundary of Concord with the town of Pembroke is formed by the Sukuk River, a tributary of the Merrimack. The Turkey River winds through the southwestern quarter of the city, passing through the campus of St. Paul's School before entering the Merrimack River in Bow. In the northern part of the city, the Kentukuk River enters the Merrimack at the village of Penacook. Other village centers in the city include West Concord, actually north of downtown, on the west side of the Merrimack, and East Concord, also north of downtown, but on the east side of the Merrimack. The city's neighboring communities are Bow to the south, Pembroke to the southeast, Loudoun to the northeast, Canterbury, Boscawen, and Webster to the north, and Hopkinton to the west. Topic: <laughs> Climate. Concord, as with much of New England, is within the humid continental climate zone Copen DFB, with long, cold, snowy winters, very warm and at times humid summers, and relatively brief autumns and springs. In winter, successive storms deliver light to moderate snowfall amounts, contributing to the relatively reliable snow cover. In addition, lows reach at least 0 degrees Fahrenheit -18 degrees Celsius on an average 15 nights per year, and the city straddles the border between USDA hardiness zone 5B and 6A. However, thaws are frequent, with 1 to 3 days per month with 50 degrees Fahrenheit -10 degrees Celsius plus highs from December to February. Summer can bring stretches of humid conditions as well as thunderstorms, and there is an average of 12 days of 90 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius plus highs annually. The window for freezing temperatures on average begins on September 27 and expires on May 14. The monthly daily average temperature range from 20.6 degrees Fahrenheit -6.3 degrees Celsius in January to 70.0 degrees Fahrenheit .1 degrees Celsius in July. Temperature extremes have ranged from minus 37 degrees Fahrenheit minus 38 degrees Celsius in February 1943 to 102 degrees Fahrenheit 39 degrees Celsius in July 1966. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. As of the census of 2010, there were 42,695 people, 17,592 households, and 10,052 families residing in the city. The population density was 632.5 people per square mile .2 per square kilometers. There were 18,852 housing units at an average density of 293.2 per square miles .2 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 91.8% white, 2.2% black or African American, 0.3% Native American, 3.4% Asian, 0.0% Pacific Islander, 0.4% from some other race, and 1.8% from two or more races. 2.1% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 17,592 households, out of which 28.7% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 41.3% were headed by married couples living together, 11.6% had a female householder with no husband present, and 42.9% were non families. 33.6% of all households were made up of individuals, and 12.0% were someone living alone alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.26, and the average family size was 2.90. In the city, the population was spread out with 20.7% under the age of 18, 9.3% from 18 to 24, 28.0% from 25 to 44, 28.2% from 45 to 64, and 13.8% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 39.4 years. For every 100 females, there were 98.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 96.9 males. For the period 2009 to 11, the estimated median annual income for a household in the city was $52,695, and the median income for a family was $73,457. Male full-time workers had a median income of $49,228 versus $38,782 for females. The per capita income for the city was $29,296. 
About 5.5% of families and 10.1% of the population were below the poverty line, including 8.4% of those under age 18 and 5.5% of those age 65 or over. Economy Top employers According to Concord's 2011 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the top employers in the city are Transportation Highways Interstate 89 and Interstate 93 are the two main interstate highways serving Concord, and join just south of the city limits. Interstate 89 links Concord with Lebanon and the state of Vermont to the northwest, while Interstate 93 connects the city to Plymouth, Littleton, and the White Mountains to the north and Manchester to the south. Interstate 393 is a spur highway leading east from Concord and merging with U.S. Route 4 as a direct route to New Hampshire's seacoast. North-South U.S. Route 3 serves as Concord's main street, while U.S. Route 202 and New Hampshire Route 9 cross the city from east to west. Also, State Routes 13 and 132 serve the city. Route 13 leads southwest out of Concord towards Goffstown and Milford, while Route 132 travels north parallel to Interstate 93. New Hampshire Route 106 passes through the easternmost part of Concord, crossing I 393 and NH 9 before crossing the Sukuk River into the town of Pembroke. To the north, NH 106 leads to Loudoun, Belmont, and Laconia. Topic: Bus. Local bus service is provided by Concord Area Transit (CAT) with three routes through the city. Regional bus service provided by Concord Coach Lines and Greyhound Lines is available from the Concord Transportation Center at 30 Stickney Avenue next to Exit 14 on Interstate 93, with service south to Boston and points in between, as well as north to Littleton and northeast to Berlin. Other modes There is no passenger rail service to Concord. General aviation services are available through Concord Municipal Airport, located 2 miles 3 km east of downtown. There is no commercial air service within the city limits. The nearest such airport is Manchester Boston Regional Airport, located 23 miles 37 km to the south. Notable people Government Concord is governed via the Manager Council system. The City Council consists of 14 members, 10 of which are elected from single-member wards, while the other four are elected at large. The Mayor is elected directly every two years. The current mayor is Jim Boulay. According to the Concord City Charter, the mayor chairs the council composed of 15 members, including the mayor. However, the mayor has very few formal powers over the day-to-day -day management of the city. The actual operations of the city are overseen by the city manager, currently Thomas J. Espel, Jr. The current police chief is Bradley S. Osgood. In the New Hampshire Senate, Concord is in the 15th District, represented by Democrat Dan Feltis. On the New Hampshire Executive Council, Concord is in the second district, represented by Democrat Andrew Valinsky. In the United States House of Representatives, Concord is in New Hampshire's second congressional district, represented by Democrat Ann McLean Custer. New Hampshire Department of Corrections operates the New Hampshire State Prison for Men and New Hampshire State Prison for Women in Concord. Topic: Media. Newspapers The Concord Monitor daily. Concord New Hampshire Patch daily. The Concord Insider weekly. The Hippo weekly radio WKXL 1450 AM News Talk Information 
WNHNLP 94.7 FM Classical Music Wevo 89.1 FM Public Radio WJY 105.5 FM Top 40 WXRG 102.3 FM Adult Album Alternative WICX 102.7 FM Catholic Radio New Hampshire Public Radio is headquartered in Concord Television WPXG TV Channel 21 Ion Television Concord TV Public Access Television Cable TV Station Topic Sites of Interest Concord has many landmarks and other tourist attractions. The New Hampshire State House, designed by architect Stuart Park and constructed between 1815 and 1818, is the oldest state house in which the legislature meets in its original chambers. The building was remodeled in 1866, and the third story and west wing were added in 1910. Located directly across from the State House is the Eagle Hotel on Main Street, which has been a downtown landmark since its opening in 1827. U.S. Presidents Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford Hayes, and Benjamin Harrison all dined there, and Franklin Pierce spent the night before departing for his inauguration. Other well-known guests included Jefferson Davis, Charles Lindbergh, Eleanor Roosevelt, Richard M. Nixon who carried New Hampshire in all three of his presidential bids, and Thomas E. Dewey. The hotel closed in 1961, south from the Eagle Hotel on Main Street is Phoenix Hall, which replaced Old Phoenix Hall, which burned in 1893. Both the old and new buildings featured multipurpose auditoriums used for political speeches, theater productions, and fairs. Abraham Lincoln spoke at the Old Hall in 1860, Theodore Roosevelt, at the New Hall in 1912. North on Main Street is the Walker Woodman House, also known as the Reverend Timothy Walker House, the oldest standing two-story house in Concord. It was built for the Reverend Timothy Walker between 1733 and 1735. On the north end of Main Street is the Pierce Manse, in which President Franklin Pierce lived in Concord before and following his presidency. The mid-1830s Greek Revival House was moved from Montgomery Street to North Main Street in 1971 to prevent its demolition. Beaver Meadow Golf Course, located in the northern part of Concord, is one of the oldest golf courses in New England. Besides this golf course, other important sporting venues in Concord include Everett Arena and Memorial Field. The Snob somewhat north of Boston Film Festival, started in the fall of 2002, brings independent films and filmmakers to Concord and has provided an outlet for local filmmakers to display their films. Snob Film Festival was a catalyst for the building of Red River Theatres, a locally owned, non-profit, independent cinema in 2007. The Snob Film Festival is one of the many arts organizations in the city. Other sites of interest include the Capital Center for the Arts, the New Hampshire Historical Society, which has two facilities in Concord, the Steeplegate Mall on Loudoun Road, and the McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center, a planetarium named after Krista McAuliffe, the Concord teacher who died during the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster in 1986. <laughs> Education Concord's public schools are within the Concord School District, except for schools in the Penacook area of the city, which are within the Merrimack Valley School District, a district which also includes several towns north of Concord. The only public high school in the Concord School District is Concord High School, which has about 2,000 students. The only public middle school in the Concord School District is Rundlet Middle School, which has roughly 1,500 students. Concord School District's elementary schools underwent a major reconfiguration in 2012, with three newly constructed schools opening and replacing six previous schools. Kimball School and Walker School were replaced by Krista McAuliffe School on the Kimball School site, Conant School and Rumford School, which closed a year earlier were replaced by Abbott Downing School at the Conant site, and Eastman and Dame Schools were replaced by Mill Brook School, serving kindergarten through grade 2, located next to Broken Ground Elementary School, serving grades 3 to 5. Beaver Meadows School, the remaining elementary school, was unaffected by the changes. 
Concord schools in the Merrimack Valley School District include Merrimack Valley High School and Merrimack Valley Middle School, which are adjacent to each other and to Rolf Park in Penacook Village, and Penacook Elementary School, just south of the village. Concord has two parochial schools, Bishop Brady High School and St. John Regional School. Other area schools include Concord Christian Academy, Parker Academy, Trinity Christian School, Shaker Road School, and St. Paul's School. Concord is also home to NHTI, Concord's Community College, Granite State College, the University of New Hampshire School of Law, and the Franklin Pierce University Doctorate of Physical Therapy Program. <laughs> Notes <laughs>